Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benun. You are watching Israeli News Live. We have a very interesting article coming out of uh, Israel National News. Iran backed Houthi rebels besiege Yemen's president. Uh, he, uh, the, the, the writer of this article, Ari Ashar, is bringing out the fact that the, the reason that uh, Iran is back in the Yemeni rebels there is to take control of Yemen. Uh, in, the, in some of the highlights of the article here, it says Iran is looking to take over Yemen to cut off Israel. The London-based Arabic paper Ashra al-Awasat al al reports that the tribes of southern and eastern Yemen that oppose the Houthis have recruited 13,000 fighters ready for war against them should the Houthis carry out their threats to conquer the oil-rich areas by force. That is something they are threatening to do. And, uh, and as we stated in the title of this video, it is, it's a bloody oil war is exactly what's going on. We see this. Now, I know we've given you a little bit of the prophetic side of the news here on the last couple of broadcasts. This time here, we're going right into the heart of the, of the oil issue here. Uh, we have already come back to this article in just a minute. Israel is demanding that the Palestinian Authority pay its debt on its electricity bill, which is uh, over a million dollars there. I forget exactly how high it was, very high. They actually froze, it's in the millions, I'm sorry, not just a, a million, they, they froze like a million and a half dollars of tax revenue that was due to the Palestinian Authority, just holding the money because of the millions that is owed to Israel in the electric bill debt that, that has not been paid as of yet. Uh, this has also uh, caused... Uh, uh, the Palestinian Authority leaders there to say that they are done with Israel and that they can do any, nothing else uh, in regards to this. But they're also finding that they're getting a, they're losing support uh, in, in other areas as far as in two states because they forget that Israel's already made a covenant already. So uh, anyhow, uh, they were just being used. That's that's what it really comes down to. Also, Moscow is demanding Ukraine pay its. $2.44 billion gas bill of natural gas. Uh, and, and they stated in an article as well that um, uh, Russia's support, uh, support for Ukraine will not be endless, as uh, reported by the Russian prime minister. Uh, they stated on TASS News, who reported this article here, Ukraine will not be, will not be endless. Uh, uh, the, that fact has to be considered. Russian's prime minister, D Dmitry uh, Medvedev, said on Tuesday, we have to understand that it is goodwill of our country and that kind of support cannot go on forever. Sooner or later, it will run out. Everyone has to be aware of that. Uh, Medvedev said that the cabinet meeting the, the, the cabinet meeting was dedicated solely to the gas relations between Ukraine and Russia. We really believe that there are people who are close to us who live in the territory of Ukraine. Russian's president has a position on this matter and we use it as a guideline, reminded uh, Medvedev. We will continue to work on this matter in the future, he added. Medvedev uh, said the gas uh, discount for Ukraine will be in effect only until April the 1st, through Russia is though Russia is open for dialogue. Uh, so we're seeing everywhere the, uh, the demands of the different nations, even China, I uh, read, uh, read in an article, it's an older article, the article uh, that was put out by WND's News, and they were stating that they had reliable sources that China is demanding that the United States use valuable land resources it has, as well as corporations that, that they own as a way of securing the debt that they continue to, to loan money to the United States, which is in the trillions of dollars. It is really unbelievable and spiraling out of control. Of course, the United States trying to topple Russia, the Russian ruble through the sanctions they put there, trying to collapse Russia's economy, is now forcing the Russian bear to also put pressure on uh, people that are, that are partners with the United States, such as Ukraine, who is trying to become part of the uh, European Union. One of the, things, the big reasons why this battle has began in the first place. Uh, but as I said, this is all over oil war, uh, it's an oil war to begin with. And if we see that Russia, uh, the, the, the um, defense minister goes, he's there. This is the last day uh, today, according to the news report uh, yesterday, that uh, the defense minister would be uh, meeting with the Iranian military there in cooperation with its, with its uh, forces. Uh, and the whole purpose is, is Two sides of the world are fighting for control. We, and, and what's really interesting in the whole thing is that both of them 
are using their religious heads to do so, and yet the religious heads have all come together in agreement in the first place. But Russia, with the Iranians, are fighting, and along with the Chinese, uh, they have formed their own alliance there. We're seeing the eastern part of uh, Europe here that is part of the United, Na uh, excuse me, is part of the European Union, that. Uh, are starting to show leaning towards uh, Vladimir Putin and supporting with him. In fact, the Czech president condemned the Ukraine's uh, uh, new prime minister for making remarks against Russia. He's actually, the, the Ukrainian's prime minister has been making quite a few remarks against Russia, bringing up World War II past uh, in order to incite violence and hoping to gain garner more support from the European Union against Russia. But the European Union is very nervous as well because Russia is a military giant. And although the United States has vowed to protect them, they know too that if the American economy collapses, what's going to happen next? Who then will bail them out? Who will bail them out against the Russian giant? And yet Russia is not saying they want to take 